Hello! <clears throat> wow. Hello, America, Indonesia, the whole freaking world. What's up, guys? So, Happy New Year 2016. It's definitely a new year, a new me, a new whatever, a new what do you want. I hope it's gonna be a good year, a lot of good movies this year that I really look forward to. Well, first today, I'll talk about Star Wars, okay? I don't know if you guys saw the Star Wars Force Awakens, but uh, I saw it and I loved it. And today, I'm just gonna talk about the uh, Steelbooks. They came out not too long ago for the collector's edition. I myself collect Blu-rays, collect a lot of movies that I think is worth um, collecting. Steelbooks, I'm not so much. I mean, certain movies, if I can buy a steelbook for a cheap price, I would get it. But when I found out that Star Wars was going to come up with the steelbooks and they're going to sell it individually, I was like, hell yeah, why not do that? Because the fact that uh, they were going to make more than six movies, I thought that, you know what? I'm going to buy it individually. As you guys know, on the stores right now, you can buy the complete saga one, either the Darth Vader case or the uh, Anakin Skywalker and Luke case. Either one, which uh, whatever is, float your boat. But when the steelbook came out, I was in love with the cover. I was in love with the whole thing. So, let's take a look at it. <laughs> All right, there it is. These are the six movies of Star Wars, um, including the original and the prequels. As you guys can see, I'm gonna go one by one on this one. So let's start with the Darth Maul one. Okay, so when I first bought it, when it came, when it still came with the wrapping paper, it had this um, paper here. And on the back, it's kind of like all the pictures, blah, 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 whatever, and a little bit of the uh, synopsis and a little bit of the plot. Well, and I took it off, right? Boom, apparently that's the original poster right there, the original graphic. So I decided to take it off. You know, I mean, like, I don't need this, but I'm not throwing it away because I think it still looks cool. Somehow, someday, I will need it, but I'm not a hoarder, trust me. Ha! So, let's open it. So, this is uh, episode one. And in my opinion, I think it's really good. You know, the Steelbook is really strong. Um, I've been taking it out. I've been watching it multiple times, and there has been zero dents. And I'm not the most soft person in the world, so this is good. So, let's open it, shall we? There you go. That's all you got, honestly, in the inside. This is the disc and a little bit of graphics. Uh, you see Anakin in the uh, Jedi night room, getting inter interrogated, you know? All right, so that's the first one, The Phantom Menace. Let's move on. All right, Star Wars Attack of the Clones, episode two. This is, to be honest, my least favorite Star Wars, but it's okay because the steelbook is still cool. <laughs> so as you can see, Yoda is the cover. Uh, obviously, he's gonna do a lot of action in the movie. And in the back is the original cover again. Boom, right? You see Padme, you see Anakin, you see Obi-Wan, you see Jango Fett. And then inside, same thing. You got the disc, you got a lot of clones there. The first time they ever introduced the clones. That's why it's called Attack of the Clones. Duh! So that's the Attack of the Clones. Episode 2. Okay, now episode 3. General Grievous is the cover. I forgot to tell you guys, by the way, Star Wars right here is a little bit of a... Um, Dented, but it's purposely dented. They, they carved the metal for Star Wars right here. So if you're blind, you can like rub your finger there and like, oh, can I read Star Wars? But not Revenge of the Sith part, just the Star Wars part, which is still cool. And if you turn it around, same thing. The original poster. You see Anakin, the Clash. The only difference is there's no title or anything, just the poster, which is cool. You know, it's something new. And if we open it, same thing. The disc, and you see Anakin and Obi-Wan clashing right there. All right, moving on. That was Star Wars Episode Three, and it's just letting you know it's not heavy at all. It's really light. It's really light. So yeah. All right. So now let's move on to the original, which are the reason why Star Wars is awesome. So the first one is Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, the first Star Wars that ever came out. So the cover is Darth Vader, as you can see there. It's really cool. And um, on the other side is the original poster. I never seen the poster so detailed though. I mean, you know, you, you always see it as a poster, but this one is actually really clear. You see Darth Vader in the back? Pretty cool. And if you open it, you see Tatooine there and you see the two planets or two stars that Luke was walking to with the very awesome music. Actually, I wonder if you take off this, do you see Luke? Oh my gosh, yeah, you do. Luke is right there. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, let's move on. So that's Star Wars A New Hope, episode four. Let's move on. Ba -ba -ba! Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. The best Star Wars in my opinion out of all. And that's the front of the cover. That's uh, a Stormtrooper, obviously. If you don't know that, you probably live under a bridge or under a cave. On the other side, you see Han Solo and Leia and, you know, the original poster. I like it. And if you open it, let's see what's inside. Ah, you see the Battle of Hoth there. right? And if you take this off, of course, same thing. You see more of the... I don't know what they're called, I forgot, man. I'm not that such of a geek to know. And that's the disc, Blu-ray disc. And if you close it, there goes your steelbook. All right, move on. Last but not least, certainly not least, Star Wars Return of the Jedi. I really love this one because a lot of things are happening and I feel like it was a good conclusion 
back in the day to finish a trilogy. You can see the front here is the Emperor because actually it's the first time you can see the Emperor not in a hologram, like in actual physical being in the movie. But I like it. You see, you see the detail of the glowing eyes, the detail of the uh, wrinkly face, and you can see that he's wearing a hood. So on the back, you see Luke Skywalker holding a lightsaber. Same, original poster. You see Princess Leia on her bikini bottom, blah, 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 blah. And if we open it, ah, you see the Death Star battle. It's still pretty cool. Put the disc back. And there you have the steelbook. So as you guys can see, those things are pretty cool. I mean, if you're really a collector of Blu-ray or whatever, you really want to get this. <laughs> Now let's talk about what I'm really bummed for. You know, there are pros and cons. The pros are, you know, visual of the case and whatever, and you get the movie. The cons are that I'm really bummed about is that it doesn't come with any special features whatsoever. All you get is an audio commentary, either from the cast and the director or throughout the movie. And that's about it, man. So when you play the movie, pretty much you get a menu. It says play, scene, subtitles, or special, which only is pretty much the audio commentary. I was like, oh man, I wish they had special features. But it's literally, you have to choose. You want a visual hard copy that's really nice, or you want the full saga, but with special features. I personally prefer this because um, in the future I'm gonna collect all the steelbooks for Star Wars and it looks cool anyway. I mean, you can buy something if you think it looks cool. Buy it, man. If you got the money, buy it. Why not? It just looks cool. It's cool. <laughs> When I first bought it, which was in Black Friday sale, it was $14.99 each. And if you times that by six, it's about 89 bucks. Plus tax is about 91 bucks, which is okay. Whereas if you buy the package complete saga one, it's the same price, $89.99. The only difference is you don't get the steelbook cover, the nice cover and whatever, but you get the special features. And it comes in like in a book like that. It's like, and you just put it in your shelf, like, bleh, you know, like that. You know, but I don't like that to have a book in my shelf where you can just have it individually. And that's my opinion, of course, and that's my preference. If you buy it right now, it's $17.99 each for the Steelbooks because it's post Black Friday sales and times by six, I don't know, you count it yourself. It's more expensive, a lot more expensive. In six months or so, these are will be gone. I mean, these are will be gone. Steelbooks are really hard, especially if you have a lot of Steelbook collectors in your local, you know, it's kind of hard. It's kind of like a competition. And in the long run, of course, definitely, I like this better to have it. When I'm like 30, I'm in my own house and I just want to watch Phantom Menace, I don't have to bring the whole book. So yeah guys, that was it. That was the uh, Star Wars, the first six episodes of the Steelbooks. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys think it's worth it? Do you guys think it's not worth it? Do you prefer the uh, book one or the Steelbook one? Let me know, talk to me in the comments below. I will try to reply you guys, definitely, because I like some inputs. Well, I hope you guys have a great year and I'm looking forward to the next Star Wars movies. Definitely, The Force Awakens was great and we're gonna have the anthologies and in two years from now, we're gonna have episode eight and episode nine and we're all Star Wars fans again. Be happy. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you later. Take care now. Bye bye then.